Greetings and welcome back to From the Depths and to our hull, now armoured significantly more than it was before. Now, the reason why this is metal and not wood is, to cut a long story short, buoyancy. When I began armouring it, it became very clear to me extremely early on that it wasn't going to work the way I wanted it to. By trying to armour this, uh, the functional comp components of the laser with wood, the buoyancy of the wood meant that these sort of uh, limbs, I guess you could say, of the, of the vessel were almost entirely out of the water at one point, and it was kind of seesawing between one side or the other. So it became, and that, that was only about three quarters of the way armoured. So I realised I was going to have to try and uh, armour it properly. So what I did is I chose where I wanted the water to sit or, or just below where I wanted the water to sit, as the, the case has turned out now, and uh, armoured everything below that line with metal. And down here as well. I even gave it a nice little shape. I'm still not sure. I, I mean, this, this practically begs for a torpedo system, but there's no room inside. And yet... I want to give it a torpedo system so very, very much. Oh, actually, I wonder. Hmm. Can we fit that in there? Oh, did I take something out important? Oh dear. Have I taken something important out? Um, have I? If that is a yes, then I must fix it. Uh, how far along do you go? Yeah, you've got another two. Okay, I have taken away something important. Damn! Okay, let's uh, quickly fix that then. There was clearly meant to be another frequency doubler here, I imagine. Actually, one along there. Two, three, four, eight. No, actually, that's the ninth. Okay, so that will work, in fact. So what we want is we want a block there. And then... I know, I know, crazy. But bear with me. We want... A light. Plink. Oh, that's nice. That's a kind of a cool effect, I think. Maybe it would be better if we could have the light come up, though. So, plink. No, 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 no. No, that's not in the right place. Plink. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. I don't know why, but that just looks awesome to me. But, uh, okay, yeah, so we've armored all of this with metal. Now, that necessitated two different changes. Previously, we had the propellers along this line, and that was basically where the center of mass was, um, or at least along that line. But as you can see from this, the, the bar there, the center of mass is now around here, which happens to be where I've got these set up. So they're along the right line, and we've put two rudders in these little uh, sections here, and I've also got windows, as you can see. So all things told, it's turned out quite well, actually. Um, in fact, allow, allow me to demonstrate. Let me uh, just flip the camera around. Or actually, let me anchor myself to the seat first. Right, there we are. Let's uh, go into control mode for boats. And we're off. Now, we reach about 9.5 to 10. I'm not sure what it'll average out at if I run it for any particularly, a particular length of time. But uh, although it does bob a little bit here and there, for the most part, it's quite stable, and it turns really quite well. I mean, it's uh, bobbing, as you can see, it, it does threaten to capsize, but it never does. I mean, I can just hold this down indefinitely. I did test it. It will never completely capsize. It, it, it's a little bit too stable for that, but uh, I could probably help by putting a, a few stabilizers maybe along the inside. I don't know, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty good, and it maintains a, a healthy speed. I'm actually really quite happy with how well it moves we can uh, get back towards the sun wukong though let's go full reverse there we go and then cut the engines and switch away from uh, controlling boats but yeah i probably should add some stabilizers thinking about it it did occur to me a little while ago to do that and then i just completely forgot um aileron turning wheel jet stabilizer that's what we need now, if we place a couple of these just along maybe the inside here, might be good. I could I could place one on either side there. In fact, let me just add the mirror line. There we go. Place one there. 
and then place one or two along the outside here um, maybe one down closer to the to the end there that should be good I think um, yeah actually that looks like it's almost in the middle in fact it is in the middle oh that's beautiful okay that works perfectly then so that should help me with uh, tipping to one side as we turn but on the whole it really isn't that much of a problem. It doesn't turn enough to be to be a threat. Now, there is one thing that I have realized, though, and that is in having this armored floor here, it's not going to give us very much ability to turn a turret. So, with that in mind, we're going to be rising this whole thing up just a little bit. So, uh, we're going to delete this for now. One, one, there we go. And we're going to get rid of that as well, which is quite unfortunate, I know. But uh, it's all in the name of progress. Let's pop that there and finally get that one. Right. There we go. Now we just build this up around there as we did previously. One, one. Uh, yeah, I, I could shape it a little bit better than I did previously, but uh, I actually quite like the shape that we had. Th that is, I could shape it somewhat like this, for example. If I place that... Uh, oh, that's the wrong one completely. Uh, if I place this there, and then another one here, I could I could round it off really uh, a lot more rounded at the top in all directions. But I, I like it only being rounded on the uh, sides. I think that gives a nice aesthetic for a turning point at the very least. So our turret should be built here. Now is time for turning off of mirror line. Okay, this is the part that I have been looking forward to the most. Where are we? Right, the turret. We want a precision turret. And we want it here. Well, yes, no. Okay, we need to lock. And now we need to rotate. We want it facing that way. There we go. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed. Now, of course, we're going to be upside down, <laughs> which is not what we needed, but oh well. Now, as I was saying, the reason why we've lifted this up is so that we can build a full ring around this without it breaking the turret. Now, we do kind of want this to uh, come out all the way, so that is all the way across in this direction. Let's uh, get that happening. And we'll do the same here as well. And then wooden blocks on this far side. So, like that. Now, next we want another beam. And again, like that. There we go. And there we are. Right. Now, the thing here is we want a laser. We want the multi-purpose laser block. We want it pointing this direction. Uh, if we lock that in position, use tab, we want to orientate it slightly differently. There we go. We want it up like that. No, 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 that was perfect. There we are. We want it pointing forward. Ah, glorious. And now all we require is the laser transceiver. And hopefully all things will go well. Is that going to work? There we are, beautiful. It's powered up. Ah, oh, that's glorious. It is working exactly as I planned, as I foretold. Ah, right, now we need some shaped blocks. Uh, back to, to wood. Now, I know what you might be thinking. It's like, well, Avak, if you spent all the metal making the, the bottom of the hull, why are you not just going the whole hog and using it to armor the the turret as well and i might do but for now i would prefer to just go with this for now honestly um if i were to earn armor the top i wouldn't make it metal i would use lightweight metal alloy um so it would be expensive uh to give you an idea in fact i'll give you an idea in just a moment of how expensive it would be we are actually a lot lot heavier now uh sorry metal heavy now now, the reason why I'm using a 2-meter one there, well, I guess I could get away with not using it. I kind of wanted it to, as it was rotating, it would clip the bottom down there. But it won't, I don't think. No, I don't think that would. So, 
Plus, do I really want to restrict it? Maybe I don't, come to think of it. So we'll just go with this for now, and then we'll build out from there. But this is the center of our weapon system. But I'm just going to come out of build mode for a second, and to show you how much the tiny hull now weighs. Uh, sorry, not weighs, uh, it costs. 59,000 metal, and that's just for armoring the lower part of the hull. If I were to now armor the top part of the hull in lightweight metal alloy, we could expect to see that well over 100,000. So, yeah, I want these to be cheap enough for me to make. In fact, I almost didn't go with the armor down there. I almost just completely redesigned everything off camera, thinking, oh, I want it to be cheap. But then I realized, well, it kind of is cheap for me. Because in my game, and I'm building it for my game at the moment, I have an awful lot of metal resources. I can afford to make three of these. Right now, so including this one, now before. And that's uh, hopefully going to be a lot of firepower. Now let's get back to this, but uh, definitely not, uh, not a cheap early build, certainly. Uh, right, we are going to want two things. We're going to want our laser to have a laser coupler. No, 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 you don't. We want a laser connector. Now the reason we want this is for two reasons. I want... Uh, laser defense system and one of them is going to be just pointing straight up the others are going to be running the length of this laser system so i want transceivers to pass that power forward now i'm not sure if this will work the way i'm thinking i'm hoping it's going to because i don't want to have to run connectors all the way down but we'll have to see about that laser missile defense on top uh can i fit that like that Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now, I am going to have to uh, set up AI uh, missile detection. That shouldn't be a problem, though. I can just set that up anywhere. Really. But uh, the main thing is getting the missile defense on this. And I've got to be honest, trying to build whilst at this angle, really disorientating. Really not a big fan of it. I've got to be honest. Oh, my lord. Right, and uh, that way, <laughs> it's just turning my brain upside down. Um, right, okay, there we go. In fact, there are some spiders that do that. Uh, this is going to sound stupid, but you can you can look it up. But there are, there are spiders that, instead of having all of their eyes at the front of their head and they turn their head to see things, they've got a ring of eyes all around their head. And they're not looking through all of them at the same time. They literally turn their brain inside their head and use the eyes that are pointing. It, it's the most bizarre thing I have ever learned. But uh, it's one of the reasons I love spiders so much. You can't argue with a creature that instead of turning its head, just turns its brain inside its head so it can see out the eyes in the back of it. There's, there's just a certain beauty in that, in my opinion. Right, let's uh, go find this. We'll shape it at the... F yeah, I actually quite like the, the shape of this. Let's do that. I also should have put a mirror line, shouldn't I? <sighs> There's almost no point now. Uh, we'll put one down there, and we'll put one over... Oops, back one, please. We want this one. Rotate it. Okay, there we go. And we definitely want the triangles as well. Uh, rotate it. Yep. Yeah. No. Maybe not. Yes. Maybe yes. Perfect. And this one up here. Okay, this is our laser system. Now... Oh, that one didn't go in the right place. Did I not put a mirror line? I thought I had. Had I not? Really? Hmm. It says I have. Scallywag. Uh, okay, well, let's put this one up here then. Hmm. Oh, that's just going to be annoying. Ah, uh, game, why? Why? I don't know which way I'm looking. Okay, fine, I'm going to have to lock it and do it the hard way, aren't I? Uh, I hate having to rotate like this. Um, just because it's not nearly as uh, intuitive as you might imagine. Uh, come on. We've got to, we've got to do it eventually. I'm, I'm literally getting this every way but the way I want it to go. Game, why do you hate me so much? Okay, you know what? We're going to start this again. Right, mirror. There. 
Mirror is there. Let's lock this in position. And now we should be able to get that in over there. Yes! Ha ha! Got you. See? No reason to play around with that silly reorientation thing. Just, just go back to basics. There we go. Okay, I'm really liking the shape of this turret, though, by the way. Uh, right, we want a wood block about there. Uh, I could... You know, I am quite keen on continuing this kind of uh, aesthetic we've got going right now. Much like down there with the, the spikes, almost. Yeah, I like that. Right, we'll have a laser connector. Where are you? There we go. Now, what I would like is... Uh, uh, there. No, maybe... Maybe not. I can't quite get the uh, mirror line in the right place. But, laser transceiver should, I'm hoping, lock in. Start sharing laser beams. Yes. Yes. Laser beams are being shared. Fantastic. Now, laser defense. There. And then one over here as well. Uh, yep. There we are. Are they all hooked up? Connected to multi-purpose laser. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, perfect. Now, when this is raised, the uh, side ones will also come online, but normally just the top one will be active, Then that's fine. Now, all we want now is to finish off the armoring, and there as well, and a couple of blocks. Now, actually, before we do that, before we do that, I need to get the... Um, actual laser component done so we want the laser combiner and before I even play with that I also want to make sure that this is facing the right way so yes maybe that's kind kind of what I want yeah perfect okay let's pop that in now one thing that is con uh, a concern to me is that this laser is underwater some of the time now in real life, that would make a pretty big difference. <laughs> In the game, I'm wondering. Now, we're going to want steering optics. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Any more? No. We're at the maximum. Right, so that's a full laser. And actually, that fits in the space that we've made for it as well. Which is always very nice. Now, we want to increase the... Uh, how accurate it becomes. Does it give me any information about how accurate it is? Um, from the laser combined, allow greater field of fire. Oh, okay, well, fair enough then. We'll just add one, two, three, four, five. Or maybe not. We'll take it right to the edge. I'm thinking that would be uh, nice though. I could just expand the laser out a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I know, I know, I know what's going through your mind. It's like, Ava, you just spent like eight years trying to get that to look the right way. Are you seriously going to do that again? The answer is, of course, yes. Yes, I am. Because I'm a crazy fool. And the way things look matters almost as much to me, well, in fact, matters more to me than whether they work. So, there's your answer for you. All right, let's, uh... Build this out a little bit, though that does mean that I could expand this out some more. And I might. Just just a, a couple of wood blocks. One, two, and then uh, we'll have that one we want. No, we want the right one. There we go. And the left one on this side. Well, it's, uh, actually, is that mirrored? No. So, one, two, and then that. Go away, both of you. One, two, and left. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Uh, this one needs to go here. That should be mirrored. And this one needs to go there. Once again, mirrored. Now I want this. Ah, oh, perfect. This is working much better than last time. Oh, my lord. It's almost like not forgetting the mirror line actually makes things easier. Who would have thought it? Uh, should I? Yeah, I think I will. I'll add one extra one as well. Now that should be a fairly accurate laser system now. And we want a couple more wood blocks just to pad this out. We're not going to armor the underside at all. 
there's no point really. Uh, we want no, we want down slopes. Um, we'll have a down slope there, wood block here, and then an maybe another down slope. No, it's starting to cut into the actual laser system then. Though I suppose... Actually, yeah, it has re replaced it on the bottom. That's fine. Well, there's our laser system then. I think it looks bloody awesome. Right, stop playing around with that turret because it's literally going to give me motion sickness. Right. Now, let's have a look at this then. Now, that weapon is going to have added a significant amount of weight. Uh, I'm quite concerned about that, honestly. Hmm. Well, the first thing then to do is to get down here to find the turret buried in here. Where are you, turret? I'd like to modify you. I want you to be weapon system one. Uh, required accuracy, that's fine. Okay, weapon system one is set up. Now, where are you, laser combiner? Can I control you? There we are, weapon system one. Okay. Now then, let us see. How far can this turn? It can't turn very far down, that's fine. It can turn very, very, very far up. Yep. Can it turn all the way around? Oh, that's glorious. That is absolutely glorious. Fire! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I approve. We have built an awesome laser boat. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. Uh, we'll set this one up as weapon system 2, because honestly that's all we need from that. And this one to be weapon system 2 as well, even though they're both different weapon systems in terms of the AI. Now, as for the AI for the laser, hmm, that is a good point. How are we going to set that up? I guess we need to do it down here somewhere. Because the turret itself exists over here. I could have one, two. Mm, no, not, it's not going to be easy. Um, nor is it going to be easy to do it over there. Damn, I didn't even think of this. I could put the weapon control back here. If I really want to. I could tuck it in there. Yeah, actually I could easily tuck it in there. And I think that's about the only place I'm going to find that I can tuck it in. So, oh, really, I'm, I'm, I'm now going to get seasick again. Uh, well, I should say motion sickness. It's not the motion of the water that's making me feel dizzy. It's the fact that my brain is trying to work out why am I on my side? It doesn't feel like I'm on my side. My inner ear isn't telling me that I've tipped on my side. And yet my eyes are telling me that I am. What on earth is going on? If my brain could talk. Uh, AI. Local weapon controller. Yes. Plonk. There we go. It's now controlling one weapon. If I also go plonk there, can I then stick... Would it allow me to? Because if it would, I'd be really happy. Uh, wireless transmitter, wireless receiver. No, you're not going to let me, are you? You're always going to want to be pointing the right way. Oh, no, wait. Wait. AI yeah, wireless receiver, no mainframe connection, ensure there is a transmission, controlling one weapon. Okay, this might actually work. Well, I'd be surprised. I'd be very happy as well. One, sorry, one, two, three, four. But that is part of the turret system, so no. Uh, sorry, that's part of the ship and not the turret. So that's going to be a little bit of a pain. But if we're having that all the way up there... One thing that's going through my mind is, why don't I put the AI that's going to be controlling the main weapon of this thing in the most heavily armoured part of this ship that I can? There should be room down here. Maybe. I say that, and I'm not sure there is. Did I make any... Did I leave any room at all? I think I did. Here. I think there's a tiny little smidgen of space. Maybe. It is remotely possible that there could be. One, two, three, four... I think I may be able to uh, secure us a little bit of room down here. Right, you know what? Let, let's just put you back the right way up. Okay, yes, there it is. Now, we are going to want a, an AI. 
mainframe. There. We want a wireless transmitter. Here. There we go. We want that way's front, so we're going to want a card selection left and right. There and there. We're going to want to go over here because we want two cards, but we're not going to be able to use both sides of it. So we want to continue uh, armoring this out as we go. And we want one card for prioritization. Actually, no, aim point selection. Select that in there. Then target prioritization there. Now, what do we want our laser to target? We want it to target things in the air. So first, anything that has someone controlling it, because if it has no AI mainframe, it doesn't matter if it's got guns. Now, per range, uh, that doesn't really matter. Per speed, yeah, that's fine. Per altitude, I want it to really prioritize things in the air. Anything that's in the air should be a much higher priority than anything that isn't. But, uh, you know, things can be very high up. So if I tell it to put two... And it's potentially, it is possible that something that, that isn't even actually that high up could still be being prioritized over something that's actively got weapons and an AI because I'm giving it such a high priority to altitude and altitude can have such a large scale. You're not likely to see, you know, 60 AIs on a machine, but you could easily see a flyer that's above 60 meters. So uh, we'll set that up and that should be all we need to do. Now let's uh, pad this out, and I think, at that point, we will actually be finished. Tonk, tonk. Well, I'll need to put a naval AI, but uh, other than that, we should be okay. Right, what have we got? Connected to mainframe, call sign 6808. Connected to one, has the failsafe. Connected to mainframe, ah, oh, fantastic. Don't need a failsafe on this, because that is never going to be able to shoot itself. This will never be able to aim at itself in order to fire. Except possibly if it got cut really short. But even then, I don't think we've got much to worry about. So, yeah, I think we're ready. Oh, I'm very happy. I, I actually feel really, really pleased with what we've managed to put together here. Uh, time for another AI, though. This time, we want the AI sat about here. Well, actually, what is this going to do? It's just going to have... A naval AI. So, don't really need. Well, I may as well stick it back here. I'll pop you there. We'll have a left right card. One, two. We will have a. Well, we only actually want patrol, don't we? Oh, yeah, patrol and naval AI. So, there's the patrol. Does this go straight out? Yeah, that does go straight out. So we'll put it on the other side of you then. Um, actually, thinking about it, the way we can organize this is to have this here and here. To have this there and have you tucked behind it. Since you don't actually need to be out. There we are. And grab you and tuck you in there as well. And this way, I can just have two of these. So we've got a little bit more healing power in here. So there we go. Patrol card. That should connect. And I'll test this one as well. Naval AI. Naval AI. Clonk. Yeah, it's reorientated. So it is all connected properly. Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Enter broadside below this range. We really don't need to be close to anything in order to kill it. Um... So, we can go ahead and have a broadside range of like 800. It's fine for our weapon systems. Leave broadside above this range, 1000. Nominal broadside, that. Well, no, 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 no. We need to be basically heading straight on. Um, at an angle of zero degrees. Broadside minimum range. We don't want it to get closer than 500, so I kind of want you to. Uh, Edge out once you're that... Well, actually, yeah, 500. Below 800 meters, engage with broadside at an angle of 0 degrees. Above 1,000 meters, turn to close on the target again. When broadsiding, do not allow them closer than 500 meters, disengaging and retreating when necessary. Will approach to within 50 meters of a friendly player when no enemies are present. So basically, um, it's 
it's going to charge straight towards its target. With an aircraft that's probably coming straight towards it, that's probably not much. Uh, that's not as necessary. But if it's fighting a, a naval opponent, then it is going to have to turn and face it, and that's what I wanted to do in broadside. Um, leave a broadside above this range. Uh, where is it? Above 1,000 meters. Yeah, turn to close. I guess these don't really matter at all. Honestly, I could just set it up like that because they both want it to do the same thing, and that is approach. Only at 500 is it going to pull back. And then it'll derp around a little bit at 500, I imagine, which is, you know, not amazing. Um, but we'll see how it how it performs in combat. But there we are. Naval GUI has now been set up. What are you doing? Oh, you're just sailing and doing your own thing. Well, that's fine. Now, is there anything else I want to do? I've been thinking of adding some more ammo in here. Because... Of the torpedoes, but you know, I'm not really sure we need it. How about I quickly test the torpedoes? Um, let's go to number two. Let's aim at this place over there and launch. Go ahead, torpedoes. Just head on over there. There you are. Goodbye. Enjoy. What? Ha? What? Ha? Oh, <laughs> I know what happened there. Oops. Oops-a-daisy. I never saved this one, did I? <laughs> okay, we need a... Um, we've already got an eel, Mark 1. Uh, I could call it the piranha, but I'm not really sure. A tiny little little torpedo like this really... Uh, I suppose so. I think that's how you spell piranha. I can easily check. So one, there's a rare thing that I can easily check. Google, tell me, how do I spell piranha? Piranha. Mark one. There we go. Save the piranha. And then I'll pop it in over here as well. We want to load the piranha mark one. Load it in. And exit. We should be good now. Okay, the question I have is, really, are you being derpy? You better not be, because I don't like it when you're derpy. Can you actually fire when underwater? Uh, you, your torpedoes can, but not so much the laser. Actually, no, it is firing at the very least, but I doubt it's doing anything. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. I may have to use naval AI sparingly, I don't know. We'll have to see how that works in practice, but I'm fairly happy with what we've got right now. I'm going to turn off its AI for now, though. Um, go on to on instead. There we go. That's right. Just just sit there for now. You can, you can be angry and stuff later. But I'm actually really, really happy with what we've got. The only thing I'm concerned about is how low it sits in the water for this. Perhaps I will actually need to replace some of this with uh, lightweight metal alloy after all. But I can easily uh, make those adjustments off camera. But uh, that is it for now, I think. Maybe one day we can even add further things on top here, like flags and stuff. That would be awesome. I can start my crippling flag habit in From the Depths as well. But in the very next episode, I imagine we're going to be building a couple more of these and sending them off to join the Eversong and the Kuna Noon, who are actually blockaded by two people. Wow. Three people? Oh, dear. Uh, that might not be a very good battle. Um, in the very next episode, we're going to find out if the Kuna Noon and the Eversong need any reinforcement, because they may actually be dead. So, yes, ah, uh, that's that's what I get for building in the campaign. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.